Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast with Tristan. Yeah, and today we are finally on episode five. We have took another elongated break since the last episode. Yep. Again, we're we're good at doing that, huh? Um, yes, this we thing, are. Yeah, this thing really like what we use to record also has like this weird trial thing where it has a month cooldown, so yeah. we have to wait a month. It's it's a mess. But um, today's episode is very exciting and also extremely terrifying for me. Uh, Tristan, Tristan, Tristan's gonna love it. He's gonna have a good time. <laughs> I'll be laughing be all through. Oh, I'm trying to. Answer, <laughs> well, I'm trying to ask the questions. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. We will be talking about Netflix in this episode. That'll yes. be the topic of the day. But the most important thing is at the end of the episode, we will have a special game, which I will be trying the Pocky One Chip challenge for 2022 while tristan asked me some mcu trivia questions and while I'm drinking water to to what? make him jealous exactly he'll be drinking water throughout as well just to you know up the ante of wow why am i doing this all right so <laughs> as usual well, let's get started <laughs> yep making me regret um all of it but you know what let, let, let's let's get there slowly but surely we'll start with what we usually start with yeah, we started the last movies. episode. We're going to talk about something not related to the topic of the episode, but we're going to take 15 minutes to discuss anything that we've seen recently, any upcoming news, anything. And there is a lot right. in store. So you start, Tristan. Any, any, any news you want to share that you have found? I've, so I have seen Black Adam. You have seen Black Adam. How was that? And I'm going to give you a little review. No spoilers. Since you haven't seen it. Fair, fair, fair. So, I like Black Adam, but the one thing I hate about it is it's too much flashy editing. Too much flashy editing? Yeah. Yeah, That makes sense. I do Um, like the characters. Yeah, what would you... What what would you rate this uh, this movie? I gave it about, like... I'll give it about, like, an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, so that's not that bad. It's just yeah, it could be better. Yeah, all right. And the one thing that sucked about it was uh, it was delayed fifteen years. So mm, I see. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's look into some news first of all. Well, first let's talk to? about um, some stuff that has come out recently. There's been a lot of stuff. I'm sure you've oh, heard yes. of Terrifier Two. Oh, God, that movie. Yes. So, I heard it made people pass out. Exactly. Just like the chip. <laughs> just like the chip. So today's episode, we'll also be watching the movie while eating the chip. <laughs> just Wait, a what? Double... <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Okay, Two so, hours but... and 15 minutes of pain. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be actually two episode, hours guys. long. Yeah, yeah. so this, ep- this movie has been... Uh, well, relatively known for being extraordinarily gory. So, for someone who has seen all the Saw films and Final Destination. Wait, what? You've seen all the they... Saw and the Five? Uh, Heck yeah, man. Yeah, uh, those, those are some awesome movies. <laughs> but um, I haven't seen any of them. Really? You gotta, you gotta get watching them. They're, they're pretty good. I, I'm sorry, man. I've been watching, I've been watching like, uh, Jason, Freddy, Ghostface, a lot, dude. Come oh, on. really? Well, that's fair because I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen the. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, oh wait, that's next. But um, yeah. Anyways, before we move on, Terrifier two. Sure. Again, it's just crazy, ridiculously gory. Apparently, um, I've heard the acting is mediocre. Um, because it's an indie film and the production as, as a B movie is. Yes. Um, but I heard the practical effects are subpar, which I always appreciate. And it actually, and it actually was released theatrically. Really? So, That's the interesting yeah. part, yeah. Since so it, it made money. the first movie went through Tubi, and yeah. I think it just didn't really go anywhere, but the sequel just t- took off, and that's uh, good for them. Good for them. But, yeah, must-watch horror movie if you feel like passing out. So, you know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you were talking about Ghostface, Jason, and stuff. Speaking of oh, which, yeah. have there was also... Halloween Ends has come out recently. Oh, I've seen that. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. Wait, ha- have you seen it? 
Yes. Yes, I have seen it too. So let's talk. It's let's, not let's a see. good movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the this was a a part of like a a trilogy of remakes. Yeah. Um, there yeah. was the Halloween, the original one, years years ago. Then they had all I these other sequels or prequels that just were random. But then recently, in like what, what was it, twenty eighteen that came out? Yeah, twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen. They made a remake called just Halloween, disregarding all the ones in between, just smashing the two together. And then they made Halloween Kills, which was pretty. Yeah, it was okay. But then they made the mm, a lot finale. of kills, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone call um. Someone call what is it, James A. Janice, because he will appreciate it. But you know, well, he already did a kill count. Yeah. He already did a kill count on Halloween Kills. Really? Did he do one for yeah. Halloween Ends yet? No. Not yet. Considering that eventually. movie is still on theaters. Yeah. yeah. Um, so my personal opinion, Halloween Ends, this is a ending, apparently, supposedly, to the Halloween franchise. It's not a really ending, but okay. And Michael Myers. <laughs> I mean, um, the way they kill Michael's cool, but that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... We won't give any spoilers or anything, but you you all know this is the last one because it says Halloween ends. So like, that's it's obviously not going to be the last. Obviously, one. they're going to make, um, make a reboot. Yeah. Like ten years down yeah. the line. <laughs> yeah, I I'm very skeptical about this ends thing because you know it's it's not going to happen. This is going to come. It's a back popular eventually. franchise. You really it think is. they're not going to? Just can't. You really go think they're going like to end that. it there? Yeah. Yeah, but um, Jamie Jamie Lee Curtis, as always, did amazing in that. I thought that was Obviously. incredible. Um, you know, it was weird to have um, that other character brought in. What was his name? Corey, yeah, Corey. Yeah, that was that's kind of interesting. They should have introduced him earlier, and that would have been kind of okay. Honestly, but... you know what I, you know what I, you know how I feel about him. Hmm. He reminds me a lot of Eddie. From Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, because yeah. he's, like, an outcast and everybody hates him for, like, a murder that he didn't do. I, yeah. No, yeah, you're you're right. That does, That's a good comparison. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see when we, if we're still making this podcast in 10 years and they do make another Halloween movie. Ha! Let's hope we, we make it. So. Well, let's hope we still do it in 10 years. <laughs> Well, we'll see what happens. So, um, I'll be like, uh, I'll be like twenty, twenty four, <laughs> and then you'll, you'll be like, give me a call, like, hey, you want to do another episode? Oh, I am, man. Oh, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, let's see. So, what else came out? Hocus Pocus two. Speaking of mm, Halloween I haven't stuff, seen that. I haven't seen you that. have not seen that. So that have is you? a. Very mixed review. I have seen that. I saw that. I think in October, when it came out, and it oh, was. Is it, is it, it? It's horrible, isn't it? Tell me. Yeah, it was just. It's I don't good. know. It's so okay. Um, how should I say this? Okay, so it. Okay, spoiler warning, for Hocus Pocus two, in a way, but you know this is kind of, coming putting a close. To Hocus Pocus, you make it feel like, and starting a new chapter on these young girls. Or else they just led you on and they won't make a sequel. I don't know. But it seems like the Sanderson sisters, Probably it looks like they're done for. Name. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, we can't really trust Disney sometimes, but, you know. As it seems, it looks like they're pretty done for. But overall, the movie, yeah. for being, like, a, just an epic comeback... They did great, like the Sanderson sisters acting, everything was just amazing. That was that was great, but um, story wise, it was kind of felt like just literally taking the old movie and just remaking it. Like, there's nothing special about it, per per se. Um, but you know, to each their own. I actually kind of liked it. I heard a lot of people who hated it, a lot of people who appreciated it. It it was pretty good. It's a fun movie to watch. So if you haven't, definitely check it out. It's good Halloween watch, that's all I'll say. Yeah. Alright, there was a certain trailer that was been anticipated for months on end, and finally came out recently. Mario movie 
trailer came out. I thought you were talking about something else. Oh, huh? God. <laughs> what do you think I was talking about? Ant-Man 3? That, I was, I was going to get to that. Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special? Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't know the trailer Where came out for that, did it? <laughs> <laughs> A lot. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, yes, um, we need to talk about the Mario movie, though. Yeah, so, initial reaction. What did you think? I like Chris Pratt's voice, but okay. Chris Pratt's is not very good. Okay, okay. I, I agree. Jack Black was amazing as Bowser. I think that's going to be so awesome. Like, I was skeptical at first, but seeing him in the trailer, it's it's amazing. It actually works out really well. I didn't expect it yeah. to be, like, spot on. But um, I guess we'll see with the other characters, like Luigi and Princess Peach, which we haven't seen yet. But um, We have seen, we have seen Luigi. We did see Luigi at the end of the trailer. We did, but we didn't see the voice. Um, but we also well, did we don't see, see voices, do you? We don't see voices. <laughs> we didn't hear them. We hear voices. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see voices, then... Oh, man. I can see sounds. I can hear <laughs> killers. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you should be watching movies if you can see voices. But um, Anyway, um, yeah. The, <laughs> Something um, might be wrong with you. Yeah, the only problem I really have with that is... Chris Pratt, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll be convinced once the movie comes out. But so far, it seems like just Chris Pratt. It's just like, his there's voice. Nothing, there's, yeah, there's nothing special about it. Um, I mean, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We we we'll all see. know what happened with the Sonic movie, so who knows? I did like Toad's voice though. Oh, Toad? Yes, I did. It has the like the ah, like the high pitched cracking voice his it, actor it did perfectly. really good actually yeah so i'm i'm excited the animation by the way also looks amazing they did really good staying looks, it's on it's detailed it's very detailed yeah. exactly and it also yeah. doesn't feel like an illumination movie that's true i it, you could hardly but you could tell you would think it like playing like super mario odyssey or something it looks different except when you look at yeah. mario he does look a little different, which is noticeable. But... So does everyone else. But... but you have to do that when you're making the movie adaptation. I mean, yeah. you know. You have to make it your own. Yeah. I, I'm going to, again, bring up Sonic, though. Like, Sonic oh, did such a good job well, when remaking it of bringing Sonic to life Obviously. in a different way. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, it looks like Mario is heading the same way. So props to them. Awesome, awesome. All right. All right. Uh... So... <laughs> so here's an interesting little statement um, also that I wanted to point out. This happened like a couple weeks ago um, but when I was finding things to talk about. I saw this one very interesting thing. So listen to this. Tom Hanks said that he thinks he made only four good movies in his lifetime. I heard what do you th- Exactly. So here's the thing. He didn't specify. What do you think? What do you think are the movies? So okay, so I'm thinking definitely one of the movies is Forrest Gump. Yeah, so Forrest Gump, one thousand percent. Yeah, he um maybe Toy Story. Toy Story. I I was thinking about that. Um, but it's also a kids film. Yeah, I don't know if he would consider it like a. I'm gonna look up some Tom Hanks movies. Okay, I was also thinking The Green Mile. Um. Mike oh yes, the one yes. that he likes. Uh, Castaway. Castaway. I think Castaway is one of them. I think that's one of them. Uh, Maybe he saving know... Saving Private Ryan. Ooh, that's true. Saving Private Ryan. I don't know. So it depends on what he says. What he considers good. Does he mean like cinematically good or like iconically good? Sully. Sully. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But we all unanimously agree that Forrest Gump is definitely one of them. But Oh, yeah, I love Forrest Gump. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what you think Tom Hanks is for... Well, what you think Tom Hanks thinks is his only four good movies that he's ever done. Yeah, it is. Yes, very much. Mm, very much. Mm, yes. <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> all right, so it's been about 15 minutes. So... Yeah, I think we're ready to talk about Netflix because... I know you guys, I know, I know guys, trust me, I know I'm not ignoring this. There's one thing that has been so popular, but I'm saving it for the next flicks part. Tristan, do you think you know what I'm talking about? No, not at all. 
I don't know. Really? Maybe the no. ads that they're putting on Netflix? The ads? What yeah, they're mean? they're thinking about putting ads on Netflix. I did not know that. Like ads like in the in your movie. No, that's gonna ruin Netflix. Look it oh. up, look it up, it's true. It's true. Oh no, that's not good. They they okay, they upped the price a lot and now they're adding ads. Yes. Like come on. You can't really All right, do say that. what you're gonna say now, man. Say what you're gonna say. <sighs> yeah. But um so yeah, guys, the the one thing I'm thinking about, it's been everywhere. If you're on TikTok, you've seen it a lot. I don't. Mm-hmm. It is the infamous we talked about, and I have not personally seen it. Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer series. Oh my god, that one. So have you seen it? No. Not yet. Yeah, me neither. We're planning on it, but we have not yet. So we have no personal. I heard it gives you nightmares. It, so yeah. So that's. So there is a lot of controversy surrounding that. I heard um, Evan Peters. It's a really crazy role for him to be taking on. First of all, like that was really out of the blue, and you know I, I'm surprised he would do something like that. But I've seen some clips. I've seen people talk, and it seems like he's doing really good. Like that, he does his acting was on point, but. The main controversy is that they didn't ask permission from the victims' families to actually make a series off of it, which is the part where it's like, uh, that's not really good, you know? Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, well, I guess I just wanted to point that out because I know people might be thinking about it, especially this is a Netflix, you know, episode, but... You know, that is something that is coming out, uh, well, that came out and has been talked about so much, but what do you think? Let us know. Um, There's one other that is controversial. I'm talking about the Marilyn Monroe movie, Blonde. Oh, Blonde. Yes. So um, if you have not heard the, so first of all, if you have not heard about it, this is a movie that is a, not a movie, yeah, it's a movie, yeah, it's a movie. It is a movie that it's is surrounding movie. the it's life. Movie. It's, movie. It's, it's a movie. Just double it's checking, a movie. you know. Just, it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie surrounding Marilyn Monroe's life. And yep. as I've never seen it either. I have not seen this either. I'm sure you haven't, I'm assuming. Blonde? No. Yeah. No, I haven't so, seen it. Yeah. And the controversy around it is this. It's NC-17. Um, and if you don't know, I'm watching it. <laughs> the National Film Association, or whatever it is, um, they have PG, no, they have G, PG, PG-13, and rated R. But above rated R is NC-17, which is a which movie is basically that can... not suited for people under than seventeen. Yes, it right? is. Yeah, yeah, and it's just it's just a lot of imagery that. You, if you go to a theater, actually legally, if you go to a theater to watch an NC-17 movie, you have to show ID that you're old enough. Like, you have to be 18 or older. It's that kind of movie where it's just, you know, well, it gets Well, it's it gets on crazy. Netflix, so no one can... Uh... So, that's, so that's what I was getting to. It's on Netflix, so it's, like, really easily accessible. So that was very bold of Netflix, you know, to do, actually, to accept their first ever NC-17 movie to just air like that. Um, but in the end, people just thought it was super, like, gross, and just, it just showed Marilyn Monroe in a bad way, it was just, you know, a lot of controversy, again, we haven't seen it, but let us know if you have seen it, and keep that in mind, but, you know, okay, so now I, a lot of controversy, now I have (laughs) something to talk about, all right, CW, CW, most of their shows are on Netflix, so I think it's okay, CW isn't that like the network, like not the ne- the um studio the network? Yeah. So yeah, basically, they show all the DC movies. The D C- yes, the shows, 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 shows. That's right. So the CW DC series are is responsible for Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, Black Lightning, and Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, and Indeed. Stargirl. Indeed. What's what's the what's up with that? They uh, they're ending most of their shows now. Really? Yeah. Wow. How come? They're losing a lot of money. Ooh. 
Like they used to be making like uh, about like a billion dollars a year. Interesting. Now they're losing a lot. So what do you think the cause for that may be? Like, do you think Marvel might Low be like, viewership? taking all their viewers? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that has to be it. Yeah, it's that. It's sad when like a company, you know, it, like that makes films. I love CW. Just... Like I love Legend of Tomorrow. Yeah, and but and basically the Arrowverse is ending. You ever heard Arrowverse. of the Arrowverse? Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. It's ending with the Flash season nine. Ugh, oh, dang. I'm sad. Yeah, I know so many people who love that. You know, it's well, rest in peace. <laughs> Well, my favorite all of all of them were uh, Legend of Tomorrow. Legend of Tomorrow. I'll have yeah. to see that. Um, so, yeah, with that transition into yeah. our topic for the day, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at the at history. Some shows. Yeah. So first, Movies. let's. So Netflix as a whole, um, yeah. the history of Netflix, uh, off the top of our heads, what what can we recall? Netflix was... Um, I remember... I remember a fact. Blockbuster was actually going to buy out Netflix. That was a big... But one of the... But one of the executives said that, um... It wasn't going to be popular enough. And boy, were they wrong. (laughs) Yes, and, uh, you know, Blockbuster, you know, had to end in 2010. Mm Mm-hmm. And right now, there's only one Blockbuster left. Yep, one final one. And I think uh, Netflix made a show out about that. They did. Uh, Netflix versus... The- Which is actually very funny. <laughs> yeah. Netflix has fought their way to the top. They put some businesses out of business um, and brought brought in the out with the old and with the new. But yeah, Netflix has actually been around for a while. I think I started watching Netflix when season two of Stranger Things came out. That's when we first got Netflix. Um, and started using it fully because we heard a lot about Stranger Things and the first season was already out and the second one came out and we started watching it then. And it was a great idea because they have been making awesome, awesome films and shows. They, they have they've been yeah, doing good. Now they're kind of dying down. Let's hope Netflix uh, gets back. Yeah, Netflix. What does the name come from? I don't know. I'm going to look that up. Let's look that up. To the interweb. Where does Netflix... The interweb. You could have just called Google, but... (laughs) The name is a combination of words. The net is basically from the word internet, and flix is a shortened version of the word flix, a synonym for a movie. So, Netflix. Oh, I guess that's pretty self-explanatory, huh? Wow. Yeah. Cool. Huh. All right, well, Internet Flix. I like it. Well, it's a good. It's catchy. They they definitely. Yeah, it is. It's a good. Very catchy. Yeah. Cool. So, let's uh let's see. So let's talk the success of Netflix. So Netflix has kind of started a revolution of streaming services. Um, ever since Netflix has come out, there's been Disney Plus. I have Peacock, most of them. Yeah, Disney Plus, Peacock, Hulu. I've got um. Paramount. Amazon Let's see Prime. What I've, got. I've got so I've got Prime Video, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, and Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah. And they've revolutionized that industry entirely. Yep. Um, and that's debatable, but I personally think they were definitely responsible for it. Um they and you know, it's now like collecting Pokemon cards. You know, it's starting to get a little inconvenient because, like, there's just so many, and they all cost money. Um, and that's why it's cool to see those bundles. It's just like, like Pokemon ESP- cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's um, it's good to see those bundles like the ESPN and the Disney Plus and the Hulu combining into one subscription. You know, they need to do that more because, like, it's starting to get inconvenient, and now it's just whoever has the best content, you know. But um, Netflix will forever be one of the OGs. I still remember when uh, Disney Plus came out. I remember how big a deal that was. But um and then Paramount Plus and everything followed suit. Yep. But a lot of pluses, huh? Steelers. Steelers, yeah. Infringement. 
Steelers. So Netflix um, used to just primarily like a blockbuster, just let you or like they used a red to have box. like DVDs. Yeah, you just got it. You let you can rent it and just check it out, and they'll mail it to you. Um, then they started streaming it, and you could just watch movies on there. And everything Which is much changed. Easier. Yes, and everything changed when that they made their first. <laughs> <laughs> everything changed for Netflix when they made their first Netflix original House of Cards. Um, once they started making their oh, own so that content. was their first Netflix original. Yeah, yeah, and once they made that, it it was never the same. They they've been making never the same. content and content afterwards, and it's just. It's it's really cool that they they chose that instead of just primarily reselling. And you know, like uh, what is it? Peacock was like that for yep, a little Peacock. bit. Um, what was it? Disney Plus was like that for a little bit because it was just showing past Disney movies. And then they they announced like, oh, there's going to be Disney Plus series that is specific to that because you have to have something that's unique to that streaming service. So like the Amazing World, according to Jeff Goldblum. Was a specific... yo God a worm the worm <laughs> dude I literally just looked that up before you before you said it so <laughs> really that shows awesome yeah it's funny oh and There's they're coming out in the season two they are wait wait I thought it already did came they? out no it did come out they might be making a did season they? three really hold yeah. on <laughs> season two is out yeah yeah I think I do remember. Season three might be in the I works. just know I just I, I just, just found that out. <laughs> oh, Dude, you know how you excited I am because I love that show. Oh man. Well it looks like you're gonna get binging after this. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> but um well, there you go guys. If you didn't know, there's a season two yeah. to that show. Uh, so get watching. Um all right, where was I? Oh yeah. Um and then, well, everything changed when they made their first Netflix original, but the domino effect ever since House of Cards was them making the right decision to make Stranger Things. That will now we forever... know what their, what their first Netflix show was. Mm -hmm. What was their first Netflix movie? Uh, that's true. I didn't think of that. I'm going to look that up. What was All the right. first? Uh, it's not giving me an actual answer. Answer. Interesting. Anyways, Stranger Things, we all know and love, um, definitely changed Netflix. They is they're the main reason that Netflix blew up so much as it did. I'm sure it would have sooner or later, but you know their oh, budgets yeah. increased afterwards. Their income, everything, because that's what got me into Netflix. I know it got a lot of people into Netflix because that's all it was known for for a little while is Stranger Things. The infamous and now it's just so much so so much content at your disposal which is which is awesome they're making um yeah making a good name for themselves so there's netflix original series and then netflix originals so they make shows and movies of course um out of the blue what's your favorite netflix show oh show um besides stranger things um yeah stranger things is not count yeah um, that's tough. I don't know. Right? Um, I, I think mine, other than Stranger Things, would be a series of unfortunate Wait. events. That, so if you guys don't know what that show is, it's Neil Patrick Harris. Um, he plays it's Count Neil Olaf, Patrick based off of the infamous books by Lemony Snicket, a series of unfortunate events. Um, if you've seen the movie uh, with Jim Carrey, that one is an adaptation of it, but the show goes through all the books, and it's just amazing. I thought it was just such a good series, and it's definitely underrated. Like Netflix makes so much that like even good ones just go under the like into the dark because they're not heard of because all the other ones are overshadowing it. Um, I mean, I guess that's a good problem to have, but are you talking like um? Netflix original shows or just shows that are on Netflix? Netflix. So Netflix had to make it. Netflix oh, okay. Original. I haven't seen any Netflix original shows. So. I don't mm -hmm. know. 
What about a movie? Um. Oh, that's that. Oh, that's easy. That's that's easy. That's easy. Um. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Um. <laughs> the new Texas Chainsaw. Really? Wow. It's not my favorite, but I'm just saying it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't blame you. That's pretty cool. Um. So we can't talk about Netflix without talking about one of the most craziest talked about show oh my god of the earlier this year on netflix it was made by netflix el camino slipping jimmy (laughs) squid game anything (laughs) oh (laughs) (laughs) yeah so (laughs) squid game was a big deal because it opened the door to a lot of people about Korean drama, a big, big dra- uh, genre in film um, where it's all just Korean and it's it's awesome. Like they, it's Korean. I don't know Come why. On, man. It's Korean. They're, they're, <laughs> and Korean films are particularly great when it comes to this dark kind of aspect, like Squid Game, of course. But then you have stuff like Train to Busan and All of Us Are Dead, which is another Netflix show. And it's just, they're all Korean. And, you know, even though it's a whole other language, there's everyone in the United States and everyone in other countries still enjoy it. One more thing that came out that I wanted to talk about that I'm super freaking excited about. I don't know if you heard about this, but guys, we got more Five Nights at Freddy's movie news. Yes. We did. Have you heard about it? Yes. So we got a film date. We got it's a dangerously s- close. Dangerously close. But we also got a. Uh, I think we got a year that they're filming. All right. So they're going to start to film in twenty twenty three. That's your that's your guess. Yep. Twenty twenty. Right. I know. I know it is. Oh, you know. Oh, well, there you go. Yes. Jason Blum yes. on his Twitter, quote unquote, put this. Jim Henson's Creature Shop will be working on our animatronics. Emma Tammy is our director. Excuse my pronunciation. And filming on FNAF starts in February 2023. Boom. He added the boom, too. Boom. 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 (laughs) That is awesome. That is great news because that means we are actually getting it. We are freaking out as we have been for years now about this movie that was announced ever since FNAF became popular. And I was just... I, I'm, I'm so excited about that. So the director, Emma Tam- I'm, I'm sure you guys are like, who the heck is that? And I'm thinking the same. She really... She, uh, she hasn't done anything big. She is known for Into the oh, Dark. Oh, so I see. Blumhouse has taken the Marvel route. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Where they so get, like, uh, low budget directors exactly. that are work that work on like an indie films yes. that way it'll, it'll be like their big break yes she has one show that she directed and then she has a bunch of like stuff she made for uh film festivals as you can see when you search her name she has an imbd page but now it's already on there known for five nights at freddy's which is awesome so that's this is definitely going to be big for her, no pressure, but I'm excited to see what you got in store. Um, All right, you ready for this now? Make it good. Yeah, I yes. I think I'm ready. I want to see I... your face. I want to see <coughs> your oh, face my God. Now. All right, podcast fans, it is time for the infamous one chip challenge. So but I'll be eating. Yes, yeah, so before we do it, Tristan would like to face reveal. Let's see. Ready? Drum roll, please. And. Hi! Alright, so Tristan will be face revealing for this. And you can see my face too. If you're listening on Spotify and stuff and are confused, don't worry. Just head to YouTube and check this part out because it's going to be something. So, as you can see. We're we're sorry. (laughs) We are sorry. (laughs) We are sorry, but uh, you definitely should. (laughs) Alright, so. Here is the one chip challenge. As you can see, 
we are going to open it. And also right. I have water, so I can... Yes. I have milk and ice cream ready, and then I have a trash can below me as well. Tristan, oh, so yeah, this is how this is going to work. So Tristan's going to ask me 20 MCU questions after I eat the chip, and I have to answer all of them. And the challenge is I just have to see if I can get the best score. I'm not really doing a challenge where, like, the actual one chip where I have to go 10 minutes without eating or drinking. Uh, I'm just going to do my best to not, and then if I, like, have to, and I'm like, I'm going to. But the main challenge is if I can think straight. While doing it. Alright. You ready? You ready? Alright, have your questions ready. I'm not ready for this. I'm oh so boy. Ready. You're scared. I I see you shaking. You're shaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I definitely am. Alright, this is it. This is the chip. I heard it's black too, so just get oh, ready for God. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut a little piece off just you're gonna cut a little piece off of the chip? No, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'll eat a, no, don't. a piece of it. Alright. Can you open it? Can you get Alright, so, first of all, it Strong smells like you. death. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Look at that thing. It smells disgusting. It's good. Alright. All right, Tristan, you ready? Ready. Yep. Three, All right. Two. Three. One. Two. Go. One. All right, go. All right. All right. Who is the villain in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie? A. What? Thanos. B. <laughs> Ronan. Go. C. Obadiah. Or D. Yondu. Oh, it's disgusting. Okay, uh... <laughs> Alright, uh... What? You want me to uh, the again? Yondu, Yondu! You sure? Yeah. I said the villain. Oh, oh! Uh, what's the first one again? Uh... Who is the villain in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie? A. Uh... Thanos. <laughs> B. Ronan. C. Obadiah. Stain. Or D. Yondu. Obadiah. Next. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so it's, you were wrong. Ah, <sighs> dang it! All right, next. What type of scientist is Jane Foster in Thor? A. Astronometer. I don't know. B. Biologist. Uh, C. Chemist or D. <sighs> Dio. <sighs> Hitrix. I don't know. What is it? Say it again. Okay, what type of scientist is Thor in Jane? What type of scientist is Jane in Thor? Uh, A, astronomer. Uh, B, biologist. C, chemist. Or D, dio pit pitrix. I don't know. Astronomer. Okay. Next. You're right. Good job. Yes. Yes. <sighs> what does S.H.I.E.L.D. stand for? A, Space Human Investigation on <coughs> Energy, Light, and D, Ties. I don't know. Strategic, Strategic, Hero, Intervention, Enforcement, and Logistics Division. Statistic Homeland, inter, interven, Intervention, uh, Enforcement, and Logics Division. Or D. Stones hidden in an extra, an extra, an extra logical, an extra terrible. I can't read this. The first one. Next. Okay. Good. You're wrong. It was C. Dang it. It's okay. What type of vehicle did Avengers did Thanos use briefly in the comic books? And make a brief appearance in the Loki series. A tank with infinity written on it. A, ca a helicopter with Thanos written on the side. A car <coughs> that is perfectly balanced on the side. Or a motorbike with tight on the side. Ugh. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. 
Uh, <coughs> you're on question four, so you're doing good. Say it again. The just the just the okay. answers. Okay. A a tank with infinity written on it. B a helicopter with Thanos written on it. A car that is perfectly balanced on the side. Or or a motorcycle with with Titan on the side. Uh, written on the side. C. No, wait. Yeah, C. 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 Okay, C. You're wrong. It was B. Dang it. Next. Ryan Reynolds acted in two Avenger... Two Marvel movie series. The first one was Deadpool. What was the other one? A. Daredevil. Uh, B. Captain America. C. Blade. Or D. Guardians of the Galaxy. Blade. Good job. Yeah, I didn't recognize him in any others. Yeah, I know. Which in which order are the Infinity Stones revealed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Time Stone, Space Stone, Power Stone, Soul Stone, Reality Stone, and Mind Stone, or uh, B, Power Stone, Reality Stone, Time Stone, uh, Power Space Space Stone, Mind Stone, and Soul Stone. Uh, C, Reality Stone, Time Stone, Mind Stone, Soul Stone. Um. Power Stone and Space Stone were D. Space Stone, Mind Stone, Reality Stone, Power Stone, Time Stone, and Soul Stone. Soul Stone. No, wait, uh, C. I just, okay. ah! You're wrong. It was, it was D. Um, uh, I need more milk. During yes, which... Wa- Sir? During which war did Captain America get his super superhuman abilities? Civil War, World War One, World War Two. Or the Cold War. So, uh, World War, uh, World War Two. Good job. All right. Yeah. What Woo! What was the home planet of Peter Quill's home planet? What was the name of Peter Quill's home planet? Mordor, Godric's Hollow, Earth, or Morag? Peter Quill, Earth. Yes. Okay. Good job. Which of the following characters did not blip? Did not blip. Spider-Man, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, or Rocket? Say it again. Okay. Uh, the answers or the question? Answers. Okay. Spider-Man, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, or Rocket? Ah... Uh. Shoot. Rocket. Because I remember his little outfit when they were time traveling. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Which actor played Eddie Brock in Venom 2018? Uh, Tom Hardy. Uh, Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. Damn. Good job. All right. Which of the following characters die in Avengers? Nick Fury, Steve Rogers, Phil Coulson, or Maria Hill? Say it again. Okay. A, Nick Fury, B, Steve Rogers, C, Phil Coulson, and D, or D, Maria Hill. Maria Hill. You're wrong, it was Phil. It was one of them. Which of the... Uh, what? Oh, keep going. Okay. Okay, damn. Um, which of the following so items... so hot! Wait, I'm not doing this. Oof. Uh, I know. Oh my god. Which of the uh, following items does ju- of jewelry does Ben from Fantastic Four try to pick up from the pavement? A. I have not seen this, so whatever. A, oh, I haven't seen it either, so skip. Then- skip, sorry. Okay. All right. What is Thor's mother's name? Freya, Freya, Friedra, or Friga? Free guy. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, I heard. Ha. Ah, C. Where was? Yes. Well, you got you got it right. Good job. Yeah. Let's go. It was free guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Where was Natasha Romanoff born? Russia, Germany, N- United States, or Wakanda? Or Wakanda? I, I know she was a Russian spy. I'm pretty sure it was Russian. I don't know if she was born there. I'm just gonna say Russia. I don't know. Good job. Yes. Okay. So, 
in which Marvel phase was Ant Man introduced? Phase one, phase two, phase three, or phase four? Mm-hmm. Phase Phase two. Good job. All right. Mm. What is Mjolnir? Oh, uh, Thor's hammer. All right. Good job. Ugh. All right. Ugh. Which of the following, which of the following movies, does the character Taserface appear in? Blade, X Men, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Or... Sorry. In which which movie does Nicolas Cage star as Johnny Blaze? Ghost Rider, Daredevil, Iron Man Three, or Avengers: Age of Ultron? Ghost Rider. Good job. All right. In in which movie does Stan Lee appear in the library with headphones on? Uh, okay. Ant Man and the Ross, and the Wasp. Thor Two, oh. Spider Man Homecoming. Or The Amazing Spider-Man? Oh, I think it's a Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, it was Amazing Spider-Man. Mm. I knew it was a Spider-Man right, last movie. Last question. This is the... Right. <clears throat> Calm down. This is the last question. All right? Yes! How did, right. S- how did Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson meet for the first time? A, while running. B, at a bar. C, in the army. Or D, at a museum. While running. On your left. Yep. All right, that was your Woo! last question. All right, what was my score? I think you got like an 18 out of 20, so good job. Oh, man. Wow. I did really good. Well, I yeah. gave up immediately, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that. Uh, that was not... <sighs> ah, it still hurts to breathe in through so your mouth. I am so sorry. Well, you, see, you have ice cream, man. Calm down. The milk works better. For anyone who wants to do this challenge, milk works way better than ice cream. Or I had vanilla ice cream and it, just, it was not doing anything. I had to have a constant flow. Ah. I con- Bro. I knew you were sipping that water away the whole time. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh. That was, see, I thought, like, it was gonna, oh, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but that was not it. That was bad. It was just, it stings. It stings your entire mouth so bad. I am sorry for you. And I can hold up that I crushed the challenge. You heard it here, folks, on the podcast. And, are, and, and honestly, I think, how long, how, how long did you last, though? Oh God! I lasted. I. You know what? I'm proud of myself because I think your I let it in sting. Your room, by the way. I let it sting my mouth for a solid minute, but then I gave it. I was. I couldn't do it. I don't know how people let that sting the inside of your mouth that long. Now let that sink in. So people, <laughs> just to let you guys know, this is the California Reaper and the Scorpion Pepper combined. In Hold on, I need to look this up. Wow. All right. Well, that was Whoa. podcast episode five. Netflix that turned into a crazy one chip challenge. Experience. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yep. Like and subscribe for more. We'll see you I'm... all in the next episode. Bye. Bye.